As a respiratory therapist, of course you must know how to treat and care for adult patients. That's a given, right? With that said, it's often overlooked just how important it is to know how to care for neonatal and pediatric patients as well. Not to mention, you must know how for the TMC exam as well if you want to earn a passing score. So to help, in this video we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question on this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. A four-year-old patient has been admitted to the emergency department with signs of wheezing and strider. An AP x-ray shows an area of prominent subglottic edema, but the lateral neck x-ray appears normal. Which of the following is the most likely problem? A. Cystic fibrosis B. Foreign body C. Epiglottitis or D. Croup Do you know the answer? Let's break it down. For the TMC exam, you absolutely must be able to recognize the difference between croup and epiglottitis. Croup, aka laryngotracheobronchitis, is characterized as subglottic edema, which means that the swelling occurs below the glottis. It is often associated with inspiratory stridor. When croup is present, the onset occurs more slowly, usually over 24 to 48 hours. One thing to look for when croup is present is the steeple sign on a lateral neck x-ray. Epiglottitis, on the other hand, is characterized as inflammation of the epiglottis and supraglottic structures, which means that the swelling occurs above the glottis. With epiglottitis, the onset occurs rapidly, and this condition can be considered to be a medical emergency that usually requires immediate intubation and mechanical ventilation. When epiglottitis is present, you should look for the thumb sign on the lateral neck x-ray. But this question tells us that the child has subglottic edema, which is an immediate giveaway that the correct answer has to be D. Croup. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Well, what'd you think about these practice questions? Was it helpful breaking them down in a simplified way? I hope so, and as I always say, definitely try to go through as many of these as possible when preparing for the TMC exam. Even if you don't use our practice questions, this is still a strategy that I recommend for all students. However, if you do want to get access to all of our premium practice questions, definitely consider checking out our TMC test bank. You can still take advantage of the temporary promotion that's going on by using the special link below. Also, if you want to get these practice questions and explanations sent straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, which costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days. It's truly never been easier. All you have to do is sign up and we'll send the practice questions to your email address each and every day. Small tidbits of knowledge over time can add up to huge results. I'll drop a link to that as well right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.